Hi, this is Sarah Vaden with UT Extension, and today we're going to talk about the spaghetti squash. As many of y'all know, we've been shut up and we keep making too many trips to the refrigerator. Well, the spaghetti squash is going to help us out because it is low in carbs. One cup of spaghetti squash is actually 31 calories and 7 grams of carbs. So it's a wonderful way, not that you're wanting to lose weight, but to cut down on your carbs. So we've taken and we've washed our counter, we've got everything ready, we've got our spaghetti squash, and unfortunately I do not have a, a chef's knife today, but I've got the regular knife. And so to make it something that's gonna be easy to do, and it's not easy to cut, I'll just tell you. We're gonna cut off the end of it so that when we get ready to slice it in half, we're working and we're not dealing with all the roundness. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down through here, and the spaghetti squash is a winter squash, and so they're fairly hard, unlike the zucchini and the yellow crick squash that you have in the summer. We will cut it in half, and they say you can ask them at the, drug, I mean at the uh, grocery store to cut this for you, which would be really nice. I've never done that, but that might be something worth considering. Like I said, this is a challenge without a chef's knife. But I'm going to face the challenge and get this done. Now, as you can tell, anytime you're starting with a new fruit or vegetable, it may be a challenge, as this one did the way I cut it. But you're going to scrape out your seeds, and just like you would your pumpkin seeds, you're going to want to save those so that you can roast them later and have a healthy snack for the time that you're going to avoid going to the refrigerator. Okay, now that we have cleaned up our squash, we are going to take some olive oil and we're gonna sprinkle it on our spaghetti squash just a little. Oops, a little bit too much, so we'll just share on the other side there. And we're gonna take and brush it all the way around. And we'll do the same with the one on this side. Once we've done that, we're gonna sprinkle our old favorites, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of salt onto each one. Now there's two methods of cooking this. The most popular method is to do it in the oven, but some people also choose to do it in the microwave, those people that are in a hurry. So we're going to take our squash and we're going to turn it upside down and we're actually going to place it on some parchment paper. If you're not a parchment paper fan, you will be because there's nothing like only having half the mess to clean up. On this one, we're going to place, place it upside down and it's going to go in the microwave for 15 minutes. This one will go 40 minutes in the oven and we'll be back with you to see which one you like the best. Okay, we've now got our spaghetti squash out of the oven and we're ready to see how they turned out. Uh, if you'll look at this one over here, it was in the oven and it took a total of one hour. This one was the one that we put in the microwave and it took a total of 12 minutes. So let's flip them over and see how done they are. I normally think things that are in the oven are better and they say that it caramelizes a little bit better when it's in the oven but for the thoughts of me having this and heating up the kitchen and wasting that money of the microwave I mean of the regular oven for an hour I'm probably gonna go with the 12 minute one in the microwave and so we'll just dig all of this out and then we'll be ready to decide how we're going to use our creation there are several ways to use it. One, people will use them just as noodles, and they will use them pouring spaghetti sauce over them. Uh, I've seen that they recipes where they have used it as a pasta bowl, and they've actually used pepperonis and pizza sauce and stuff and made it right into this. I've also seen them make this into a lasagna. And you could either do it in the dish 
if you were doing individual servings. But to me, I think this would be an awfully lot of noodles just for one serving. So that's the amount you would get out of the, just the half of the spaghetti squash. The reason that you've turned them upside down is because you want the drain out liquid because you don't want your noodles to be runny. And even after an hour, this one is not peeling apart as good as I hoped it would. So now you've got you a bowl of noodles and you've not wasted that much carbs and you've not got that much calories. So I guess right here, we're probably looking at less than 100 calories. Happy cooking and save those carbs.